So you want to give embroidery a try. You found a beautiful design and you really want to give it a try. So here's what you need to do and what you need to have. First of all, you can choose your design. And you can print out the pattern. And if you don't use that one, just pick any drawing or anything that really strikes your fancy. And you need to transfer that to your fabric so you can begin. So in order to transfer that to your fabric, there are several ways. We're going to focus on two. One would be to use a transfer paper, which works kind of like carbon, except for it comes in many colors. Or you can use a transfer uh, pencil, which uses um, a tracing paper. And the tracing paper, you put it over the top of the design, and you use the pencil, the pencil irons on. That's one way to do it. You're going to need an embroidery hoop. Embroidery hoops come in different shapes. They come in different sizes, um, different materials. Um, the one I'm using at the moment is the smaller size. I prefer it to a larger size because you're flipping the uh, embroidery back and forth as you're working with it, off and on. And the smaller is easier to get your hands into the middle of. I find these to be a little cumbersome and awkward, so I prefer a smaller one. My favorite is this seven inch hoop. It has a number seven on it. I did measure it and it's seven inches from here to here on the inner loop. I use this one, it's very handy and very easy. A hoops are two pieces generally. More than that if you count the little screw data here, but there's a bottom piece or an inserted piece and the bigger piece that has the screw that tightens down. So the inside piece will go down on the bottom this goes on the top, and you're going to be able, I'll show you later how to um, set that up so you're ready to stitch. You have to have a hoop if you want the fabric to remain taut and so it doesn't all bunch up and make a mess. Just a mess. Okay, the next thing you're going to need is some needles. Um, I really like this particular set of needles. I like them because you get a whole variety of sizes and they're really easy to use. Um, when you're using uh, the different strands of uh, floss, embroidery floss, you need a different size to fit the, the eye. If you're using several strands of floss, you're going to need a larger eye on your needle than if you're just using one or two. And so that's why I like this great variety. On this big um, needle here, I have six strands run through it and it worked really well. In order to easily thread a needle of this size, or any size, if you're using more than one strand, it really helps to have a needle threader. And that's what this is. They come in, there's many different kinds, but that's what this one is. Needle threader is great. You just stick the little wire piece through the eye of the needle, and then you stick your floss in the knot and then pull it through. It makes it really easy. Otherwise you're struggling to get all those little threads lined up and through the needle at the same time. It's kind of a pain. So now you've got the needle threaded. Um, floss comes in many, many, many colors. Uh, we chose to use for our towels um, the pink for the white and the white for the pink. But there's many colors. Um, in this one brand alone, DMC, there's over 457 colors, something like that. An amazing assortment. We chose to organize our floss by color, so each box has a different color in it. We put them on the bobbin so they're neat and tidy, and then we numbered them so that when we get down to the bottom of a, a bobbin of uh, floss, we can easily know what number we're going to go look for to refill. I did that this week. It was really handy to have that all organized and ready to go. So that's how we do the floss. Floss is just really fun, but it's not the only option. You can do embroidery with yarn. You can do it with uh, thick yarn or thin yarn. There's just string, anything. It's really, really uh, versatile. You just have to match the needle with the floss or the yarn so that you can pull it through. Um, one of my other favorite tools is a thimble. Um, this is t optional, I suppose. If you're doing a lot of handwork with a needle, having a thimble is really handy. I wear my thimble on the middle finger of the hand that I'm going to be using the needle with. 
Um, so what this looks like is like this. The, the thimble is not to prevent you from puncturing yourself with the point of the needle. It's to give you some leverage to push the needle through the fabric. It works really, really well. I like the one with the dented tip so that it, uh, it has more to catch on. These come in different sizes. You need one that fits your finger. This one's just a little big for me and it wants to slip out. So um, you don't want it to be too tight, but you don't want it to be too loose. And I highly recommend this for any kind of handwork that you're using a needle. Uh, it just makes life a lot easier. It's a little awkward at first, but you get used to it. And the last thing you will need is a nice little pair of thread snips. I really like a nice little pair. They're great for cutting your threads, your floss, um, and they're easy to pack around. When you've got a embroidery project, it's easy to put it all into a Ziploc bag or a little tote and take it with you. So why not have a nice little pair of scissors to go along? So this is my favorite pair. Um, the other thing you might want to know is that when you're using the floss, you want to work with only 18 inches at a time, approximately 18. It doesn't have to be hard and fast. But if you get too much, then it's hard to, un to separate the strands. I'm just guessing that's about 18 inches. And you can see that the floss comes in six strands. You can see that there are six there. And in the design that we did, um, the Scandinavian design here, some of it we did in three strands, and some of it we did in six strands. This was six, this is three, and so this is how you separate the floss for doing a three strand. You can separate it down to one strand, but for that project it's three and a six. So you pull it apart, I divided it in half, so three strands go one way and three strands go another, and then just gently pull it apart. And then I let them relax and they untwist a bit. Then you're ready to thread. Three strands, two strands, whatever it is you've just pulled off. And you save the other little bit for later when you have to re-thread. 18 inches does seem a little short, but it makes it a lot easier not to get tangled up on the front and the back. So I highly recommend it. It makes life easier. So here you go. You're ready to start stitching. <laughs>